YouTube, what's going on today? Today we finally have it. We got my Vikings Man Cave Tour. I'm super excited to do this. Stick around, see what's downstairs. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Like I said in the opener, we're finally gonna do it. I got my Vikings man cave. We're gonna go over it. We're gonna go over all the different autographs I got, all the different Viking stuff I got. Stick around to the end. I got a special unboxing that I got in a, uh, I'll go over it in the end there though. Uh, stick around for that. All right, so let's get into it. First, we got, going into it, we got the Vikings man cave sign. I got this, let's see if I can brighten it up a little bit. So I got this from the Minnesota State Fair. Uh, a friend of mine picked it up for me. And yeah, so it's etched into this wood piece. Look at that, Vikings Man Cave. Got US Bank Stadium, tell me that ain't dope. Funny thing is though, they spelled bank wrong. They didn't have the N. It's US Box Stadium. <laughs> All right, so this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Big MF Buck. Uh, this was from the 2020 Special Hunt Shotgun Hunt. This is a 10 pointer that I got. Ah, uh, freaking big buck. I shot this from at least 70 yards away. Uh, or no, maybe more, like 120 yards away. Something like that. It was crazy with a shotgun. Couldn't believe it. Uh, yeah, and if you're wondering what that afro is on there, that was a dedication that we did. So I always throw Super Bowl parties and my late great friend, Jill Nash, she used to have an afro out to there. And uh, yeah, so what I did was, this. she passed away in December. So when we had our last Super Bowl party this last February, I had everyone buy a Afro and we took a big picture. I'll show it right there. And, but yeah, dude, we had a good time. We celebrated her. She always used to come to all my football parties. Jill Nash, we miss you, we love you. That is for you. But yeah, so we just stuck there until next year. <laughs> all right, so now as we come down here, Turned on the brightness. That is my dog, my dog Lexi. Lexi, what's up? Lexi is my oldest. She is 13 years old, yellow lab. Yes, you are. How are you doing? Everyone's just chilling, chilling day. That's my other one. She is Marley. She is my youngest. She's what, three years? Three years old, how are you? How old are you, Marley? How old are you, Marley? All right, down here we got Pops. That's my brother's dog. She's a Great Pyrenees slash St. Bernard. That is where I keep all my Funkos that are on sale in Mercari. Go check it out, man on the couch. <laughs> she loves sitting down here because it's so cold down in the basement. All right, yeah, so let's see here. Let's go over once over. This is the man cave. Look at all that stuff, like that big screen, surround sound, arcade machine, bar, gotta have a bar. You gotta have it. Bar. All right, let's go into specifics though. All right. So this first one right over here, this was from my Aunt Patty. She got this, it's just, uh, they're not all autographs, they're, they're printed autographs, they're not signed autographs. All different Vikings from the 1969 NFL champion year, yada, yada, yada. All right, right here, I got this for Christmas one year. This is Pat Elfline autograph. He was our center at one point, not on the Vikings anymore. Adrian Peterson, this was his second year in the league. I got it on a, um, What's it called a authentic jersey? So that's pretty dope. I gotta get it authenticated though. But yeah, all right. As we keep going along, so I stopped getting autographs on jerseys because, like, it seemed like every time I'd get an autograph, two years later, bam, they're off the team. So I got my last name put on a uh, on a jersey, and then whenever I'm going to get some autographs, I just take it out of the frame and uh, go get an autograph. All right, so I'll show off a couple of these autographs right here. Up in the top corner here, that is Andrew Sadejo. He used to be our safety. We also got Victor, he's the mascot for the Vikings. Coming down, we got another Adrian Peterson. Uh, when the Super Bowl was played here, John Randall and Chris Carter were down there signing autographs. So there I got John Randall. We got Chris Carter, Hall of Fame 13. Uh, that is Chad Greenway, a linebacker 52 for the Vikings. Coming down, we got Harrison Smith, who still plays with the Vikings. I think this year might be his last year. All right, 
We got number eight. This is Kirk Cousins. I got his autograph. Number 39, do not know who that is. 52 is, uh, what's it called? Um, Kyle Rudolph. Uh, this guy, I don't know who this guy was. Uh, he was also signing autographs. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Roman something like that. I don't know, whatever. He, yeah, so I got his autograph right there. Moving along, we got Cordell Patterson. I got this autograph for Christmas from a family member as well. Awesome wide receiver. Couldn't really run routes, but he or awesome returner. Let's say this. He was an awesome returner, and they finally started using him. Not us, but like the Atlanta. They were using him as a running back, which, I don't know. He, he couldn't run routes, but he could just, he could, he could run when he got the ball in his hands, though. <laughs> All right, we got a Vikings. One of my three Vikings um, puzzles that my mom puts together. She put together for me. She put them together, glued them up, framed them up, and I just hung them up. Can you tell where the puzzle piece is missing? She was missing one puzzle piece to this one. Once you know it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> All right, we got a Vikings logo right there. We got a Mike's Hard Lemonade bar sign. I got that for uh, at Bingo, uh, bar bingo um, for my birthday just this last year. Coming around here, we got a, uh, what's it called? Jared Allen autograph. This is actually autographed. And we will have my mom wanted a silent auction. Uh, that's Beckett Authenticator right there. We got another buck. This was actually my first buck that I shot over in Wisconsin. Got some wild memorabilia right there. We got some drinks. We got this old school bar open sign. Uh, mom got it out of a garage sale. It's like from the 1960s. This thing's old. All right, so this is where the keg used to be. Uh, we've done it uh, a couple times right now. We've had a keg for the Mayweather fight. Uh, That's pretty dope. Got some little knickknacks, yada, yada, yada. We got a little meat fridge, water cooler, random spiky up for sale on Mercari. Get at me? No. All right. Go along here. We got the Vikings, or not the Vikings. We got the Simpsons game. I uh, bought it off of Best Buy. Uh, it is, I put so many quarters into this game back in the arcades back in the day. Love this game. This game is awesome. I'm also going to mod this out so that you can uh, do like over 5,000 arcade different games in there. Different little, I'm going to get that. Uh, going to get some light up, light up stuff and everything for the, the base. So all the different like buttons light up, yada, yada, yada. All right, moving along. Let's see here. We got John, Jake Reed. Sorry, autograph right there. I got that at an auction as well. This right here is a mashup. This is pretty cool. I got this for my birthday last, this past year. Uh, it's Twins, Timberwolves, Wild, and Vikings mashup of all their logos. And I got Neil Broughton to sign it. He was also down at the, the bingo place, playing bingo with us. And so after it was all done, I asked him if he would autograph it. He said, yeah, that was awesome. Moving along, we got a Justin Jefferson autograph jersey, the best wide receiver in the game, hands down. JJ right there, that's awesome. Also, this one is back certified. Pretty dope. This one right here, this is pretty cool. This was Adrian Peterson's rookie year. I had him autograph it. Uh, we, he was down in Mankato, uh, back when they used to be down in Mankato. Uh, there was a bunch of kids around the front of the fence line or whatever, and he was signing the autographs, and I threw him jersey. <laughs> I threw it to him, he picked it up and autographed it. That was freaking awesome. Love that guy, that's awesome. All right, we got another Jared Allen autograph jersey. Got that from a guy at work. Uh, yeah, look at that getting old or it's it's getting faded you can't really see it but yeah it's it's there tear down moving along we got the miracle catch of uh what's it called stefan diggs when he caught it against the the saints and then we lost at the nfc championship <laughs> all right so this was also an autograph that i got at super bowl when they were here uh chris carter he signed it right there this was given to me by a supervisor that i used to have mike thomas uh, he went down to the Hall of Fame and he had picked that up for me. So that's pretty dope. Thank you, Mike. This right here is a Eric Hendricks autograph that we uh, my mom got at a bar, silent auction. Number 54 on a little mini helmet. That's pretty dope. Moving along, we have the second Vikings, um, what am I trying to say, puzzle that we want to put together. This is the old Metrodome. Tell me that ain't sweet. And moving along right over here, this is probably my, almost my favorite, this, I don't know, it's a big toss-up. This one, Brett Favre, when he was playing for the Minnesota Vikings, 
long story short, my supervisor's wife's brother's brother-in-law, blah, 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 blah. He was the limo driver for Brett Favre and got an autograph. I put it up in a silent auction we had for one of my late co-workers that passed away a while ago when I first started TSA, Craig. Uh, I paid, can't remember how much I paid, like three, $400 for it. It went to a good cause. He was having a benefit for him. He, he passed away from cancer uh, a couple months later after the, um, after the benefit. But yeah, missed that guy. That guy was cool. Uh, but yeah, so I got a Brett Favre autograph. It's not authenticated. I gotta get it authenticated. That'd be cool. All right, we got some knickknacks up top here, some Viking stuff. We got Surly's Before I Die can. I love Surly. They did a run uh, with, yeah, they just want one ring for the Vikings before they die, before we die. We need one. Come on, Vikings. Is this the year? Probably not. No, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. No, but hopefully come soon. Uh, we got a Minnesota Wild Mick Golden Light fan. My Golden Light can. Got some other knickknacks. We got some uh, Blu rays. I haven't bought a Blu ray in a while, but these are all. I used to buy them a lot back in the day. Now everything's streaming. You don't have to buy them. Can't remember when the last time. When the last time I bought a Blu ray? Probably for like a Marvel film. <laughs> Couch. Viking stuff. This is a Justin Morneau bat that I also won at Craig's uh, benefit. And it came with this opening day target field uh, picture. And last but not least, well, actually, no, not last. Uh, we got this Adrian Peterson autograph as well. Uh, signed print. I got it from a friend at work who was moving and he had to clear some stuff out. He gave it to me for free, for heck's sakes. I was like, hell yeah, I'll take it. All right, we got a surround sound. We got 7.1 surround sounds. We got a center speaker. We got the two fronts. We got the sub, we got two sides, two backs, two backs, two sides, 7.1 surround sound, 15 inch subwoofer. I love to watch movies down here. This is a 65 inch TV. Hopefully I'm gonna get an 85 inch TV. That's gonna be the next one. Fill out the wall a little bit more. But yeah, let's continue on. What we got here? We got a Pat Williams autograph jerseys. Autograph jersey. Defensive tackle for the Minnesota Vikings. That guy was awesome. Him and Pat, or him and uh, Pat Williams and the other Williams, the Williams brothers. I can't remember his name is. Uh, they were they were so good for us. Uh, Kyle Rudolph, little placard. I was planning on getting an autograph, but he since left, and pretty sure he's retired. Yeah, he's retired. Little card there, got it right there. Stefan Diggs, I was gonna get that autograph, but the day he was gonna be autographing, he actually got kicked out of uh, camp for fighting with a teammate. So there went that, Topes. Got that right there. Got some little things. This is the last Vikings uh, puzzle that my mom put together. This is the US Bank Stadium and all the different people on front. Can you find Waldo? I don't know if Waldo's on there, but that one's dope. And then we got the Three Deep. This is the Chris Moss. Chris? Chris Moss. Um, Randy Moss, Chris Carter, and Jake Reed sign. Hopefully we can uh, produce that again. And Marley showed you my game room. Uh, we're gonna go into that one later. <laughs> All right, guys, just like that, that's gonna do it for the tour. But uh, stay tuned, I got a little, I'm gonna get situated back in the game room and uh, we'll go over what I also wanna show you guys. All right, stick around. All right, y'all, we're back. Okay, so I said I had a little something special extra to do at the end here, and I didn't lie. Okay, so we have this right here. This is an unboxing I got. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a story, so sit back, relax, grab a brewski. All right, so there was Geek Meets Eats. She posted this picture up of this doggo that needed help, and there was actually, I think, two doggos. The, one of them had to be adopted. The other one had like a mass on her that had to be removed, and so she did a little raffle. It was... Or were they, I can't remember the exact number, but there were 10 or 20 different slots or whatever. And each slot was like 10 bucks or something like that. And if you bought, so I bought four of them and it said, but if you bought like three of them, you'd get a fourth one for free or something like that or whatever. So I, I she said she was going to give me back some money and I was like, no, heck that, uh, take it, uh, put 20 more to it or whatever. Give me all these other spots. And so 
it came down to the wire and there, I think there were like four left or whatever. So I was like, all right, just give me the, give me the last four. Let's get this done. Let's get this. So this was for a, an item, a Vikings item. Uh, that's going to go great with this video. Uh, but I'll post a picture up with the dog right here is they actually ended up getting it removed. Um, uh, she wanted to thank everyone who cared, shared, prayed, network, and supported for these two souls. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, let me see here how they got. Do, do, do. Yeah, they ended up getting the, the, I ended up not winning actually. Uh, Mama J ended up winning and she messaged me a little bit later and said if I would like it more uh, as an A-OK -okay, and I, I was like, what's an A-OK? -okay? Like me, I'm a dummy. Like what's an A-OK? -okay? Act of kindness. Uh, but yeah, I was like, yeah, heck yeah. I want it. Hell yeah. Uh, she knew I would like it more. It'd, it'd go better for me or whatever. Either way, thank you, Mama J. Uh, I got a little card from her. I'm going to read it. Uh, hope all is good. Enjoy your autographed helmet. I wanted to send you as an A-OK -okay, uh, because you will enjoy it more than I would. Mama J. Right there, dude. She's awesome. That is cool. That is cool. I I think I came in second place, though, so I was pretty close to winning. Uh, but over here, it says journey time on the front there. And she sent some swag, too. So we got Mama J at, with Aerosmith. It's a pretty dope sticker right there. I need to do stickers. Uh, we got Mama J, 1970, Mama J Pops. This is her YouTube channel and Instagram channel. Uh, if you haven't, go give her a follow, go give her a sub. That's all the information right there. I'll post her information down in the description box as well. And this last one is Mama J and... Uh, I don't know who that is. Let me know down in the comment section if you know who that is. But all right, there's that. Let's get into this box. I haven't I haven't opened it yet. I told them that I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to do my um, room tour, or not my room tour, my man cave tour, and then I would open it up and give you all the, the props. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. Let's do it. This is... Oh, I don't have one of these yet. This is a full size replica, or not full size, because I don't think you can wear it. <laughs> Kinda, let me see it, let's try to put it on, hold on. Vikings helmet, haha. <laughs> oh, it's got a thing in the middle. All right, whatever. Um, so this is signed by my favorite Viking uh, running back, Adrian Peterson. Tell me that ain't dope as hell, bro. Look at that! An actual freaking helmet. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, dude. Tell me that ain't sweet. Thanks so much, Mama J. Oh, it's also uh, certified. That's cool. It's freaking JSA authenticated. Oh, that is cool, man. A freaking Vikings helmet. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna display this. Man, that is cool. <laughs> Look at that! All right, came in perfect condition. Geek me seats. It's it's in good position. It came in good condition. All right, guys, just like that, that's gonna do it for this video. Go down below. Let me know which one was your favorite of the day. Which one was your favorite autograph? My favorite's gonna have to be Brett Favre for sure. Uh, but this helmet, dude, this helmet's freaking amazing. Thanks again, Mama J. Geek me seats. I'm glad that the uh, the pupple got saved and got the. Got the attention it needed. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for taking time today to watch the video. You guys keep coming back. I'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace.